And how do you do the fly stance? That's four, three plus four. The whole thing that I just did was four, three plus four, one, two, one, three plus four, one plus two. And uh, usually uh, after a move, you have to press one plus two to get into a destructive form, but you have to remember to go to neutral. You can't just press one plus two. Like say, she has a move which is down back two, two, one plus two to take out chainsaws. But if I do down back two, two and hold down back and press one plus two, chainsaws will not come out. You have to go to neutral in order to go to chainsaws. <coughs> uh, let's go to other moves. There's back three plus four, one plus two. There's four, four, three, four, one plus two. There's four, four, three, four, four, one plus two. There's while standing one, two, three, one plus two. Um, there's up four, three, forward, three plus four. And uh, okay. While standing two, forward, three plus four. And so basically, you can do all of these moves without going to the stance. Yeah. And it's so just a way to take out the stance without doing it manually by standing there. And manually, it's down one plus two, right? It's down one plus two. And um, so is there any advantage to going into the stance from the other moves? Like, do you get better frame advantage by switching to the stances? Or generally, is it kind of the same, you're just in a different stance? Usually, what I use it for is... Um, is like after I hit him with a move, I usually go into the stance to, to you know to set up the mind games for for the character. Usually, well, this is a bound move. And if done at the wall, can uh, can you duck? Bind move, and then I have the uh, I have chainsaws, and then they have to get up, and then they have to guess either mid or low. So that's what I usually use, use, use it for. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about the attacks out of the stances, because obviously she has different attacks out of them. Okay, we'll just start off with uh, one. It's usually it's mid and then it turns into a high, but uh, if the first one hits, all of it is guaranteed. There's also two, which is her generic launcher for from destructive. Form. Hold on, hold on. So the first one, you can actually block and duck the last hit of it. No, you can't. Okay, it's, it's not possible. So it's so it jails. Yeah, it jails. No, it, it doesn't transition into the uh, thing until it hits, right? No, well it it doesn't transition into the last attack, but it's still mid high, 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 high. Mm, interesting. Yeah. But you cannot duck it. It, once, once you, you block, block the first mid. Yeah. So basically jails, I mean, theoretically, right, I guess. So what does jail mean? Uh, uh, that you can't duck? <laughs> jail <laughs> means if, uh, if you oh, block I see. the move. <laughs> jail, my bad. Jail means it if means you, you go to prison. <laughs> <laughs> right? No get out of jail free card here. Right. Not here. Jail if it means if you block a move, you can't duck uh, the okay. You gotta the block move. it the same way. You're locked first. in. Yeah. yeah. Like you're in prison. Like, uh... Here, I'll, I'll, I'll show jail real fast. 1-1 one, one does not jail. There you go, he was able to duck it, but obviously destroy 1 does jail because he was un not able to duck that. How about you show them just a simple 1-2, how that jails? Okay, 1-2 jails. So you're trying to duck that, but you can't duck it. Well, 1-1 one, one does not jail. 1-1 one, one does not jail. Interesting. Okay, back to her stance. <laughs> There's also uh, forward 1 plus 2, which is all high, but um, it's... It's our fastest move from uh, the destructive form. Forward 1 plus 2, only used in combos. You cannot hit uh, forward 1 plus 2 with any character as long as they're standing. So they not even Kuma or Marduk? Nope, I've tried. <laughs> they have to be airborne, yeah. Then um, there's down, t down 1, all lows, and down 2. The interesting thing about down 2 is it's usually 4 hits, 4, but if you hold it, if you hold the 2, it turns into 6 hits. And this might be a dumb question, but her chainsaws are not low parryable? No, you cannot low parry her okay. chainsaws. You can't uh, counter them, you can't reverse them, you can't parry them. They're just a special attack. Um, th let's see. She has. She also has ev evasive uh, moves from a uh, chainsaw. It's either up 3 plus 4 or down 3 plus 4. She could actually move very fast around the character if, she, if you just keep doing it. Then if you pre press back back, it's her backflip. If you press forward forward, she turns into flying chainsaw. And from flying chainsaw, it's uh, you can do moves like fly one, fly two, which is a launcher, very unsafe though, and fly one plus two. And that covers all her moves from chainsaw. So with Chainsaw, she's actually pretty crazy, I think, actually. I mean, you can get pretty creative with this, I guess, right? Yeah. I mean, you can do the strings that bust out the chainsaws and then jump right into one of the evasive moves out of it. Mm -hmm. All the moves are pretty safe from it, except from Chainsaw down one? 
That's down like, one and down two. They're both minus 12, but down two usually But pushes. all the mids and all the launchers are safe. Yeah, usually, yeah. And then uh, I'll go into another one of her stances, which is fly. Fly is not very useful in my opinion, but it's still one of her stances. Let's go over her moves. There's fly one two one two or one two one three plus four. One two one three plus four. There's fly two, which is a high. Fly three, which is a low, and fly four, which is a launcher. Very unsafe launcher, but still a launcher from fly. So what I usually try to do is try to make them guess low, but if I think they're gonna block low, I, I hit them with the, the mid launcher. And the fly three, the, the low one out of it, mm -hmm. is that launch punishable or? Yes, it okay. is. Okay. All right, so does, does that pretty much cover her stances? Well, she does have the down back stance, but I don't right. really count it as, as a stance because only two moves come out of it and they're both high. Both of the moves that come out of the down back stance is high. So it's mainly used, I guess, point. for evasion? Uh, yeah, I would say so. Because, I mean, it looks like it, it goes further back than uh, when she just crouches down back. Oh, well, I guess down back is her <laughs> stance. Yeah. Oh, All right. down back one. Oh, I see. Yeah, it's done by down back one. So can you just show down back really quick and then down back one so I can see the down difference? Down back. Down back one. Okay. So there might be some uses for it. Um, the down back one by itself crushes some mids. Okay, so there is definitely a use for that then. All right, so we've kind of went over her punishers. We've went over... You know, her special grabs, her launchers, her bind moves, her homing moves, and her crush moves, and her stances. So what other kind of, you know, moves are we going to be seeing when we're playing against or wanting to use Lisa? What's her generic poke strings, you know, okay. that kind of thing? I love to do down back three. I, I, in my opinion, it's the best low poke in the entire game because it goes under all highs, some mids, uh, it hits grounded, it does everything. Also, if you pick them up while they're back rolling up real close, you still you get a combo off of it. Then there's also down back four. I, in my opinion, it's unseeable, but some people say they could see it. I don't think they can. And it's launch punishable. Right? Yes, okay. down back four is launch punishable. So that's a it's a big risk. And down back three was what minus down minus eleven minus eleven. So it's pretty safe. It's yeah, it's pretty safe and a lot of range. Yeah. So yeah. what would the point be in doing down back four instead of down back three? Down back four, you get you get a big combo at the wall, and also you get knocked down. W while down back three, you don't get a knockdown ever. Let's let's show them the big combo at the wall. That was guaranteed. Um, for other poking, I I love to use back one. Great mid, down four four her fastest mid. Uh, I'm sorry, back back one is that safe? Yes, it back, looks pretty safe. Yeah, back one is safe. What's the starter frame on it? 15, I believe. Okay. Um, down 4 4, fastest mid, 12 frames. You're going to be seeing a lot of 1 1 because it's her 10 frame puncher and it does 30 damage, massive damage for 10 frames. There's also down 4 1, down 4 1 4. Uh, down 4 1 is 14, uh, 13 frames, I'm sorry. And down 4 1 4. Is down 4 1 4 a natural combo? or? No. It's an NCC, natural combo on counter hit. Okay, only on counter hit. Mm hmm. Then there's also forward two. Oops, forward two. That's another poke. Then forward two. Forward two. Interesting. Yeah. I also like to poke with a back four three, which MYK suggested, and I actually <laughs> turned out to like it. Since on counter, it also gives a knockdown as well. Yep. And it's safe. Yeah, it's safe. It's a safe move too. Yeah, it looks safe. like it should be unsafe. Yeah. Like on counter, it gives a knockdown. Three hmm. down back three. Yep. Every now and then, I also like to do down forward 3-3. Three, three. Uh, even though it's... Even if they block the low, the low is, uh, by itself is only minus 11. Now, this looks a lot like the other movie just did a second ago, right? Uh, down forward 1-4? Down forward 1-4, yeah. Right. I mean, the kick looks the same kind of kick, except from the other side. Yeah. Except one's a mid and one's a low. Yeah. That always confused the crap out of me, dude. <laughs> so, are there any other moves that are uh, kind of useful, or...? Like, what about for keep out? Uh, keep out... Alisa isn't very good in that department. In my opinion, her best keep out move is down for four and just down back three. Down back three has the greatest range you could ever love or ever want for a low, and down for four is just her generic mid keep out. 